Wireless networking fills in the gaps between mobile devices and allows highly dynamic associations between them. But it is difficult for users to name the devices to combine, specify how to combine them, or indicate what information to share. To explore these issues, we have implemented a prototype photo sharing application that supports stitching. Stitching is a new interaction technique that allows users to combine devices by using pen gestures that span multiple displays. For example, giving a photo to someone else normally requires that you know the name of their machine. Instead, by selecting a photo and making a continuous pen gesture onto the other screen, stitching allows the user to do this in a manner similar to drag and drop. The pen stroke itself specifies the two machines and nicely integrates selection of the operand into the gesture. We can support the technique on tablet PCs as well as other pen operated devices such as the pocket PC. The technique runs on standard devices and requires no special hardware. There is nothing special about the pen. Unlike Rekimoto's pick and drop technique, the pen has no embedded ID. Any pen could be used. The system works by matching up the timing and dynamics of the two separately observed halves of the user's pen stroke. Users can also move multiple photos by lassoing them and then stitching to the other screen. Note that the graphical feedback appears to span the bezel between the displays, even if we arrange the tablets differently. We can do this because our software fits a line equation to the pen coordinates provided by the stitching gesture itself. In addition to sharing images, stitching can be used to combine devices in other ways. For example, we can dynamically combine the screens of two separate devices by selecting an image, stitching to the other screen, and then choosing Expand from the menu that appears. As another example, if I want to give a presentation of selected photos to another user, I can select an image to start with, stitch to the other screen, and choose Gallery from the menu. The other computer then displays a full screen view of those images I select on the first tablet. A critical design issue for stitching is how users share physical space. Proxemics is an area of sociology that studies how people use space. Conceptually, an invisible bubble of space surrounds each individual. Sociologist Edward T. Hall identifies four fundamental distances in man. Within arm's length are the intimate and personal distances. Beyond arm's length are the social and public distances. What is desirable for stitching is flexibility, so that the technology can support a variety of social distances. We have already seen an example of an intimate space formed by combining two screens. However, stitching does not require close contact between the devices. Stitching supports personal spaces by allowing the user to stitch between any two screens within arm's length. Here, one user stitches across empty space to move a photo onto another user's pocket PC. Working in social spaces beyond arm's length is also possible. To do this, users first create a persistent connection. One user performs what we call a simple stitch with no operands. This connects the two devices. The tablets are shown with a red frame to indicate that they have entered the connected state. Once in the connected state, users can separate the devices beyond arm's length, yet still work together. Here, we use a mechanism called the transporter to give photos to another user, even if that user is no longer nearby. The user drags a photo to the edge of the screen and dwells with the pen. After a brief pause, the photo is transported to the other device. When done collaborating, users can break the association between devices by disconnecting. Bye. Either user has veto power over the connection. Another issue arising from proxemics is the importance of relative body orientation. Significant orientations include side by side, corner to corner, and face to face. As a result, our stitching technique supports pen gestures between screens in any of these orientations. Proxemics research suggests that orientation influences communication patterns and that choice of seating arrangement depends on the task at hand. For example, side-by-side -side seating is appropriate for two students studying together or other collaboration on a shared artifact. Corner seating encourages communication by preserving closeness while avoiding excessive eye contact. Face-to-face -face seating maximizes eye contact and is often preferred for conversing and particularly for competing with the other person. Overall, our research with stitching draws important connections to the sociological literature on how people share physical space. Our technique contributes a new way for co-located users to share information and to forge dynamic connections between distributed wireless devices using nothing more than the capabilities of commonly available pen computing devices.